morning, everyone. Thank you for being with us this morning. We have three cases that we're going to talk to you about. The first one is of particular interest to me, and I think it should be to all of you as well. We know that whenever people have had too much to drink, we tell them, call a taxi or call Uber. Don't drink and drive. Well, this all started at a bar or a lounge on Highway 27 in Dundee, where a young lady obviously had way too much to drink. And her car was in the parking lot, and a patron and the bartender together said, hey, we got to get this lady home. She's in no condition to drive, so they called Uber. Uber arrives. The patron, the female patron in the bar, who we now know's name is uh, Jessica, helps escort the lady we now know as Jasmine and put her into the Uber. The Uber driver leaves, and he is on his way taking her home in the vicinity of Winter Haven, Florida. You can see a conversation that occurs here during this period of time and the conversation is between Jessica who is at the bar and her boyfriend and you can tell they have a very rocky relationship here and the boyfriend is explosive he's stalking his girlfriend he's angry with her and he tells her quote unquote, I'm going to F up the Uber driver. Now let's go back to the Uber driver. The Uber driver knowing nothing about what's going on because this conversation is between a guy we now know to be Jason Boak and his girlfriend who's still at the bar. So it's a little confusing, but it's really simple. Jason thinks his girlfriend got into the Uber. He doesn't realize that Jason's girlfriend, Jessica, helped put Jasmine in the Uber. Now let me get, give you some more background. Neither Jasmine or Jessica or the Uber driver know each other. This is just traditional. I've had too much to drink. Uber driver wheels up. Jessica puts Jasmine in the Uber. Uber takes off toward Winter Haven. 